Hi YouTube, this is Enlightenment and Avrin. This will be the most recent uh, Thai Beanie Baby review that I'll be doing over a few more since I got them out of my storage unit because I was in the process of moving, long story, basically a bunch of my stuff's still in there, but now I have the full collection up to date, December 3rd, 2012. Okay, here we go. Okay, this one's Scooby-Doo. I got this at Walgreens. I thought it was pretty cool. They had a whole bunch of them. It just says Scooby-Doo. Did someone say Scooby Snack? This one's pretty new. It came out in 2008. Pretty sure I got it, like, before that, but... Anyway, uh, him, he's pretty cool. He's detailed. He's got the embroidered eyes. He's got the mouth that kind of opens and the little tongue. The little SD seems kind of cheap, like it's going to fall off. A lot of the dogs, Beanie Babies, they had had that kind of cheap collar. For some reason, he has embroidered spots right there, a felt spot right there, and then embroidered right there. I don't know. He's pretty cool. He's only got beans right there. I would buy him if you like Scooby-Doo. I don't know if I did a review on him or not. Um, Tom E. Turkey, like Tom and Dash E. Uh, there's a few versions of him of different colors, but I thought he was cool. It's actually sewed right there compared to Gobbles the Turkey, the older one, the 1998 one. But this one's really cute. He's got the beans right there only. That was part of my display for Thanksgiving. Like that I had in my room. Here is Garfield with the shades. So if you're going to look him up to buy him, his actual name is Cool Cat is what it says. He was part of the Garfield the Movie series. I also have Arlene in one of my other videos, his girlfriend, the gray cat. They all had uh, these really cool collars that said their name on them. Each one was a different shape depending on who it was. But this is really cool. He's got eyes underneath there because it's actually the same one is the one that's just called Garfield. It's worth a lot more money. He does not have shades. His name's just Garfield like normal. But this is the one that was easier to obtain. It's a little bit cheaper. Cheaper uh, back then. The other one's like really expensive. But uh, here's Loki. Okay, anyway, uh, he's really cool. He's really fluffy. He has beans in all of the feet and the belly. So he, he weighs down really heavy. Spe a special kind of Christmas one. I got I got him, okay, I got him at Walgreens, I think. And then I got him at uh, Party Galaxy. But this one, this is called Happy Holidays Garfield. This says two from. There's no poem or anything special. This one's really detailed. It's got plasticky things in the ears. Classic face. Classic cartoon face. Garfield was the first Thai Beanie Baby that they made that was, like, obviously not Thai created because it was, uh, the guy that created Garfield. But this one's cool. He's got the spots. He's got this giant, r really soft hat. There's no stuffing in it. No, it doesn't come off. He's got that plasticky thing on his tail, that PVC stuff, whatever that is, in this hard plastic box. It's pretty hard that he's holding. So uh, I thought that was kind of cool. That's the only Christmas-themed uh, tie that I have. Okay, some more thrift store and garage sale finds was Oats the Horse. This one's really cool. Simple, new body horse, not the flat ones with the reflective tag time frame. It's got a lot of beans in it, all on the feet and torso and everything got the detailed eyes. This one's really cool. I like it because it's simple. It's not a real extravagant looking horse. It looks like how horses actually do. The fur is really neat looking. But there you go. Oats. One of my, like, probably top at least 15 favorite Beanie Babies of all time. And this one is Hoofer the Horse, which is a Clydesdale with the fuzzy feet. It's a show horse. Uh, this probably decreased the value, but I don't care because I'm not going to sell it. It had 
red ribbons in its tail and mane that were all tied all the way down it like they would when they were in a parade. But because of that, they had to put so much fur in this, so if you take it out, which decreases the value, so I would advise not doing this unless you just like this, it has the longest mane of probably any of the horse Beanie Babies ever. Most of them were like this. Really short. And this one's just like crazy, so I like spiking it. And then the, the tail was the same way. It was kind of, it had bows in it. This one, another thing that kind of decreased the value that I didn't do was the reflective thing rubbed off. It just flaked off. But I got it for like $2 at a garage sale in like 2007, I think. But uh, it's got the simple eyes. It doesn't have the neat eyes. But that's his, that's his girlfriend, I guess. They look kind of the same. Okay, the only other pinkies collection that I have, the tags look like this, is Minu Minuet, the horse. This horse is really lightweight. There's only beans in the feet. That's it. Him, he's like super heavy. Him, he's just like that. So, uh, I think there was supposed to be another one that goes with this I'm not for sure like a boy and a girl one but I may be wrong that might, might not have been Pinky's collection but uh this one got it at Walgreens for like seven bucks a couple years ago it's got the normal length hair it's got a bow right here it's one of the ones that they put this crazy braid in it which is really gaudy it just I don't know I don't like pink I really don't like pink, but that's why the only pinkies I have is a horse and uh, the Beanie Buddy cat orchid. It's a Persian, which it's in my Beanie Buddies uh, review, the first review. Okay, I already did this one before, Magic the Dragon, but th this is my second one. I got this at a, a thrift store really cheap with the tag in perfect condition just like this I didn't clean it or anything for like two dollars and then here's my original one so I don't get them confused I keep it in here this is from eBay my grandma got it for me for seven bucks probably like when I was in like sixth or seventh grade but yeah those are kinda rare now so it's nice to have two of them this isn't the exceptionally rare one but it's it's rare I think it's worth like 40 or 50 bucks you can probably find it cheaper because nobody's buying Beanie Babies so that was all of them if you want to know anything more about these you, you can ask all of them I got them at either garage sales thrift stores or like Walgreens part of Galaxy so the most I ever paid for any of these was like seven or eight bucks I don't think they're very rare. Just look for the Garfield without the shades. He's rare. He's he's worth money. But uh there you go. Rate, subscribe. I'll uh see you guys later. I might do more reviews on things. I'm probably gonna do my Lion King plushies collection since I got that as storage. There's like eight of them. So uh let me know let me know how cool this was and uh tell me about your collections and uh I'll see you in the next video. Bye.